YouTubers, it's me FYFWM and I'm coming to you with a thrift haul, something that I did this weekend and so before we get started and all that, let's talk about the real deal, let's talk about the business. Ooh. Okay, so as you can see, once again, I'm in a new setting, but guess what, this particular time is because we move yes we move we move we move me and my husband we want to purchase a home out in the country and so this is one of the steps we wanted to take to make sure that happens because we know we're gonna happen because you know hey god on our side and everything and everything we even even have seen a house that we really really like so if we don't get that one, we're going to get one very similar to that. But we love out in country. He's a country boy. I'm a Georgia girl. And so, hey, that's our dream and aspiration. And so to do that, what we did, we moved so we could cut our bills in half. And I tell you, such a blessing. I wish we did it a long time ago. With all of that being said, we're going to jump into this hall. I, we, we have been so busy that he decided to just take me for a little quick gig, uh Three hour getaway and uh, oh, there was so much going on with that. <laughs> but I'm so glad he did. He's such a good husband. And so, think I itinerary went to sport. And so he was like, well, you know, you want to go shop? And I was like, yeah, a little bit. Uh, because, you know, trying to downsize and I don't want clutter. And new. But with all that being said, who can resist the good deals at good Wheel. Anyway, I won't be shopping as much or have as many hauls as because I'm saving. And even though it is, you know, monetarily, you know, inexpensive, if you keep going, it can get very expensive. So I probably just go on deal days or just go to the outlet and just, I kind of know what I'm looking for now, so it won't be as much. So with all that being said, let's jump into the haul. And if that's what you want to see, then you stay tuned. Don't you go nowhere. Woohoo! Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is this lovely dress. Yes, this is a dress. As you can see, everything's been washed. I had to wash this twice. I washed everything twice. Everything has been washed and so it's a little wrinkled. But I'm going to wear this as a jacket in the fall with, uh, I was thinking really kind of like Matrix, all black, black legs, black top with a colorful scarf, black boots. But it is so cute in the fringe. It just really sets it off and it, you can kind of look, see the little friends in the back. But I got this and I got this for $3. We're going to keep it going because I know I haven't been on in a while and I don't want an extremely long video. And the next thing I want to show you is this beautiful dress. And it kind of reminds me of something that I had saw on Pinterest. But anyway, I love a good wrap dress. I love a good dress with this material. It's really soft material. Um... And it ties and goes in a bow in the back. It's real, it's real flattering. And you will see that a lot of things I have is kind of like fall geared. Because I, I love the fall. That's spring and fall are my favorite times of the year. So uh, I got this and I cannot wait to style it. And if you see, it has a little uh, embellished type of different type of material on the shoulders. And it won't be a try on haul. And I know you guys want to try on, try on. But I just got in from work. <laughs> won't be a try on haul. I'm a little tired. I just want, I miss you guys. So I wanted to pop on and kind of talk to you guys and show you guys what I've been up to. And I think for that dress, I want to say I paid 99 cents. I did 99 cents. And for this thing here, oh my God, I'm going to have to do a lookbook for you guys. And I know my vintage lookbook, I ain't kind yet. It's been so much going on. But I probably don't give up. It's coming. But look at this. This is a long, I'm going to have to stand up, jumper, kind of wide leg. It's, it's uh, old school, still have the padding, uh, shoulder pads in it. But when I tell you this thing is some kind of, some kind of, some kind of, ooh, even the cat, she was like, ooh, that's cute. I know, girl, and it was only 99 cents. I told her, it got to go on the sale days. got to go on the sale days. I can't wait to style that. I'm thinking about styling that. One day this week, and I should show you, I picked up a couple things from the Salvation Army in this coat, guys. I picked up a coat that is slamming. I'm going to have to show you guys that in the next haul. I'm going to have to kind of spread it around since I'm not going to be thrifting as much. I know this would be kind of busy for some of you guys. I haven't told y'all any of the names, so please forgive me. But this one is Maggie Air, which I'm thinking is Maggie London. And you can see 
Maggie L. And the cup, it kind of reminds me of a, what's her name, Lily Puzzle, 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 I don't think I'm saying it right. But I know that's a little busy from you guys, but it is so lovely. And when I tried it on, it just, it fits really good. It's very flattering. And I'm a color girl. I love colorful, colorful things. And so even if I want to tone it down, I could just pick a color of a blazer. And that would just really do, do wonders. Next is this Chico's dress that I tried on. And I like dresses like this because it's a simple dress. But it's all in how you see it. You can dress it up and make it look real stylish and chic. You can throw on some converse with it and a scarf, a jacket, some boots. It's versatile. And it's just a simple, simple gray zip up the top, black. I don't even, it might be a little mid -dip, mid midi dress. And it's so comfortable. The only thing that I wish, I wish they had to put pockets in it, but they didn't. But I paid, for that dress, I paid $5.99. And for this one, I paid $5.99. But I wasn't going to leave because I really like it. And plus, you know, I'm studying. I know you say, you still on the way to Australia? Yes, I am. And I'm going to be on it till I get where I want to be. I'm not giving up. I might fall. But guess what? I dust myself off. It's all right. Let's get at it. Okay, then, guys, I do, I do, I'm always thrifting uh, something like this, the, you know, this, what do you call it, fox leather, faux leather, and they just some faux leather, they kind of uh, cinch at the ankle, they have pockets, and I'm going to style them some kind of style, some kind of, some kind of, anywho. And that's what these are. And I paid, I don't know what I paid for these because I got them from the outlet. So they weighed them. And then I got this dress that I'm going to have to get the lint off of. You see that? That is um, from washing powder. So I might have to rewash it. But look at the arms of it. And this is, uh, who is this? This is a tablet's dress. Tabba, 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 tabba. Yeah. She tabbed and I washed her, and she kind of got a little length or something. But I can rewash and rehang up. I washed and hung her to dry. No big deal. And then we move on to the more simpler things. I got some workout pants, and they feel really good. And I don't buy a lot of workout uh, pants from the Goodwill because... I have to check in here, and if these, they done been worked out, worked out, they no good for me. But these was in good condition, and I got these from the outlet, so I can't tell you what I paid for them. Next, I got this little, uh, what's this, Marona skirt, and it's like that uh, polyester silk, silky type feel, and I don't, well, I paid 99 cents. I got this from the Goodwill. This was 99 cents. So some things I got from the Goodwill, some things I got from the Goodwill outlet. Then my husband found me this workout top. It was $4.49. And it's just, uh, just a little hoodie top. Because I like to throw things like this on over my tops like this. And this was 99 It's just a little Nike top. Workout top. At these jeans, they were 99 cents. They wide leg. I'm gonna have to cut them. Um, and I was kind of debating again. I asked the lady, this other lady, I was like, Are they ugly? She like, Girl, why are you whispering to me like I'm your man? <laughs> I was like, Well, I was, hey, you think these jeans ugly? I was just making conversation, but anyway, I got these. And I'm gonna have to cut them, but I got them because they're wide leg and they were only 99 cents and they fit really well. I got some more jeans. These are who are these? These are Banana Republic and they were what were they? Oh, they were way I got them from the outlet, so they weighed them. They really long, so I'm gonna have to cut these. And I like the fact that now I, I don't have to worry about. Uh, them looking real rugged at the end. I can just cut them and wear them with some heels and let them be rugged and it's all good. I got these. I have another pair like these, but I got these because these I think are a little bigger. These are a 10. They tablets. 
and they just some velvet pants. And I don't know if y'all know, but velvet gonna be in this this one. So velvet, so get you some velvet if you one of them trendy trendy people. I got this little skirt. It's Banana Republic, and I know it's short, but I'm gonna wear it with some leggings and some boots. A nice little jacket. Oh, I gotta show you this jacket I got. It's gonna be adorable with a lot of these things I purchased. My husband found me a workout bra. It was in good condition. No armpit um, stains, no nothing. Good, good condition. And then I'm always looking for the nostalgic looking little pieces like this is just a, uh, you know, a replica of a Burberry, what is it? Burberry scarf. But they are so cute to wear. Look at that, just look at it. Look, just chic, honey, just chic. Just, mm. And then, this is one of the jackets I got. But guys, I got this coat that is the bum diggity bum bum. I'm gonna have to show you guys in my next haul. But I just got this little jacket here and it was missing the uh, belt, which don't bother me because I can throw anything around there. It didn't, they cut the name out of it, but I could tell it, it was a good brand. It probably was Old Navy or something, I don't know. But anyway, that's it for my little quick haul. I hope everything has been well. I hope y'all have been doing good. Um, with that being said, I hope you have been the the solution to somebody's problem. I pray that you have been the solution to somebody's problems. As you can see, things are haywire now. We have to pray. The Bible says if God's people, if God's people will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways. Then we will hear from heaven and he will heal the land. And sometimes the land is your space, your area. If we work on praying and healing our area, that will spread out to others and heal their area too. We weren't born on this earth just to be part of the rat race. We was born on this earth to shake the atmosphere, to change the world. Look at the disciples. They changed the world. They changed the world. When Jesus left, they still was shaking and baking. They changed the world. We were born to change the world. We are atmosphere changers. If you believe in Christ and you're a follower of Christ, you got to know that you was born with a purpose, that you are atmosphere changer, and that is what God expects us to do. Love you. I miss you guys. Show me some love. Give me some likes, share. Leave me a comment down below. And hey, until next time. Bye, loves.